Uh, hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm just a little blown away here. I got a. I had to leave Grafted in Team Jesus after hearing what I just heard because I've got to share it with you. Um, it's still Saturday, December 5th, and it's 8, 10 p.m. Okay. This is from Behold I Come. Um, I'm on Julie's, uh, Julie Wedby's site. And her scripture at the top is always Revelation 22, 12. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Saturday, December 5th is when it was posted. It's titled, My Vessels Are Prepared, Rise, Dead Bones, and Live. I am the king and the light of the world. The message was received on December the 3rd. I wonder if this could possibly be what Edward Unling was talking about. Not the first, not the second, but on the third. And he got it on the fourth. All right, I shall read. Daughter. Speak to those who have ears to hear. You approach the celebration of Hanukkah, the festival of lights, and my eyes have gone across the lands. I have found those who seek me with everything they have, those who anchor my light and my love here on the earth, whose light is not hidden, and whose faith remains steadfast despite the increasing darkness. I see those who began with the faith of a mustard seed, and who will now say to this mountain, Move over there, and it will be done. I speak now to those who will be healed, will be healed, and go on to heal those whose dead bones I have raised up, and who will now go and speak to the remaining dry bones. I'm sorry, did I say that? No. Who's, let me start that over. I speak now to those who will be healed and go on to heal and those whose dead bones I have raised up and who will now go and speak to the remaining dry bones saying, Rise up that you may live again. My authority is granted to you. And you will cast out demons and pour out my living water upon those who still thirst. The day has come and my vessels are prepared. You, now, don't get all, oh, well, the day has come. And if it we're here tomorrow, so see, that wasn't true. He's not saying today is the day. Okay, don't read into it. Always ask the Holy Spirit, what, is he mean? what did you mean by this? The day has come. It could be next Friday. It could be the first day of Hanukkah. It could be the last day of Hanukkah. He gave us a hint. Does he mean anything by it? Let's not read into it. Let's just pray and be ready. You, let's see, wait a minute. The day has come and my vessels are prepared. Vessels, bodies, those who are his. We are prepared. You, my remnant, have labored and travailed, suffering as a woman about to give birth, and will bring forth the deliverance I have spoken of for these 
last days. Your cries of faith have been heard. The decree goes forth to my angels. Hurt, this is a, a quote. And a, about 30 minutes before she read this, we di just went over this scripture. You talk about confirmation. Hurt not the earth until the last one of my remnant is sealed. See, it doesn't say it like that. It's my servants, and people think it's Jewish people. Do you believe that I will do that which I say I will do? Will my word return to me void? The great shakedown is here. I have sent the voice of Elijah through my messengers as the voice in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, and it has been done. Have we not tried, brothers and sisters? <coughs> Excuse me. I am like so burning up all of a sudden. It's cold out, so I run the heat, and then I have to turn on the air, and then I have to run the heat, and it's <laughs> Oh, in heaven, everything's going to be perfect. Okay. Now listen for the voice of your bridegroom. For this is the voice which comes at the midnight hour. So we may, if you're on Eastern Time, maybe you go at midnight Eastern Time. I'm on Central Time. Maybe I go at midnight in Central Time. I don't know. Should we worry about it? I don't think so. But he's saying, you, uh, for this is the voice which comes at the midnight hour. Come away with me, my beloved. Come away and allow me to shower you in my perfect love. Now, let me pause. Kathy said the name of somebody that I didn't know had um, either got a word or dream message, I forget, back in January where the Lord said, when it's time, you will either get a message, a dream, or a vision, and I will say to you, it is time. I believe that's how she put it. Or the time has come. Something like that. So if you get woke up and you hear in your mind, the time has come. I guess you're supposed to get up and Hallelujah, take me Jesus, you know, just believe it. Don't roll over and go back to sleep. Okay. Okay, I got to get my sweet spot here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So this voice is going to come at the midnight hour. Come away with me, my beloved. Come away. And allow me to shower you in my perfect love. I have seen the pains and the sorrows along your journey. And sat with you in the ashes. Surely such beauty comes from your surrendered heart. And from your life. Laid down in obedience. Your scars are beautiful to me. And what you see as flawed and unworthy. Are made beautiful by our love for each other. My beloved. The wait for your groom is coming to an end. Have I not told you? I will raise you up 
on the third day. The third day. <gasps> Edward Umling. The third day. Okay, there's the third day again. The wait for your groom is coming to an end. Have I not told you I will raise you up on the third day? The third day of what? Hanukkah? Leave in the comments what you all think that means. If you watch the one that with Edward Umling, he starts off, he's talking about December. And the first one is a little confusing, but he talks about not the first day, not the second day, but on the third day. Or, but on the third. And maybe that's how he put it. And now twice in here he mentions the third day. Okay, moving on. I know every thought. I see every tear shed. I hear every cry of your heart, and I know your deeper and most innermost desires. I know your longings and your struggles. I see the disappointments and the sadness. I know you mourn for what is lost, what could have been. But my promises are sure, and I cannot lie. I will bring recompense where it is due. I will restore all that was lost. I will exalt that which has been torn down. I will bring low those who have exalted themselves above me. I will bring plenty where there has been little. And I will take away that which has been stolen and give it to you. I will loose the tongues of those destined to declare my glory in the earth and I will silence the tongues of the lying deceitful ones praise the Lord hallelujah many have been called but few are chosen the few are those who are sanctified by my spirit those who wear their wedding garments, those who walk in my righteousness, for I am he who is the discerner of the thoughts and intentions of every heart. My word pierces. It divides the soul and emotions of a man from the spirit within it reveals truth and exposes lies nothing is hidden from me I know those whose oil is full and I know those who do not come to me as the source but rather choose to steal from those who have shown themselves approved. I know those who yearn for the praise and recognition of the world instead of only the praise from me. Does my word not teach that it is the meek and humble the contrite of heart that I love, the proud I know not, and will put far from me. 
as I shake all things that can be shaken, all will be exposed. Every false or harmful word spoken, every idol, every false doctrine, every lie, every high thing, every tradition of man, every aspect of life here and now will be shaken as my glory floods my remnant in such a way that evil must confess in your presence. Let's see, wait a minute, back up. Every false or harmful word spoken, every idol, every false doctrine, every lie, every high thing, every tradition of man, every aspect of life, here and now will be shaken as my glory floods my remnant in such a way that evil must confess in your presence then flee at the sight of you filled to overflowing with my essence light and dark cannot dwell together and all that has been in the darkness will be exposed and dealt with. The illusion that I have told you that you dwell in as your reality will be shattered. Truth will flood the earth and all will be without excuse. I will show the world that I am that I am in such a way that it will be undeniable and only those most hardened and given over to the wicked one will refuse my offer of salvation. Do you realize what that means? For you see, I am breakthrough and I will go before you. I am the breacher of the gates. I am liberty. I will shatter the created systems by which the enemy has kept you enslaved. I will cause the spiritual eyes and ears of those imprisoned to finally open and the chains that bind them will be torn down. I have the keys and none will open what I shut or close that which I open. I am the light of the world and my light will shine among men so that all will know truth from deception. All made in my image will again be given a choice of salvation in order that they may live eternally in light and not darkness. The great division is come. Walk in the light as I am in the light. I will not hold my peace or rest until the righteousness thereof goes forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burns behold salvation comes and my reward is with me and my work before me I am the light of the world he who follows me will not walk in darkness a new day is dawning, my loves, my, a new day is dawning, my loves, and the day star arises in your heart. The sun is here, S-O-N in all caps, 
I am here, my precious ones, and I will turn your sorrow to joy. There will be dancing and singing as the fulfillment of all things is here. We will celebrate and we will rejoice together as our hearts unite as one spirit in our Father Yahuwah. For those who love me and keep my commandments, be at peace and fill your hearts with joy as your King is merciful and kind. I am the healing balm for your hearts and I will wipe away all your tears. I am truly always at your side. I am faithful and true and I love you beyond measure. The heavens declare my glory and all of creation groans for my return in and through my manifested ones. Shall I not hear and respond to its cry for redemption? Yahushua. And then there's many scriptures underneath. I'll put the link to her disc to this blog spot and you can come here and read all these scriptures because that was really long okay so I am going to plead the blood of Jesus over this wonderful message knowing our loved ones will end up coming up to forget about this them taking the vaccine there well, he, he said, talked about the ones who've already given themselves over to Satan. And I think that's talking about the Illuminati, people like Donald Trump, who's already had their DNA changed. And somebody asked me, where was my source on that? And oh, that, that was the thing. I forget. Part of this stuff I told her I knew in my spirit. Oh, that he was he was e evil. That both presidents were equally evil. It didn't matter who you voted for, but God put him in. Because he had to be the John the Baptist before Obama. But all that's going to come after we're out of here and maybe even the second rapture. So, let's just keep praying that God will take care of our loved ones until we come back and help them, heal them, deliver them of their demons so they can forgive, repent, and stop believing the lies, the false doctrines. Okay? Alright, so I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. Uh, well, uh, over each and every one of us, and our, I'm sorry, but the fan is tickling my face with my hair, um, and over each and every one of us and our devices and all of our internet connections. We're going home. We're going home. Are you ready? Nobody's perfect, but do you love Jesus? Are you glad to be getting out of here? Have you forgiven everybody? Do you love your neighbor as yourself? I hope you do. I pray I see you soon. We got to have us a hug fest, folks. I want to hug Jesus more than anything. It'll be soon. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.